Welcome. Today I would like to present the example of an actual dashboard similar to recent ones we created for one of our clients. Before we start, a bit of background information. Our client is a retail organization in electronics consumer goods with global operations. They need to be able to look at their financial data and analyze where specific issues originate and take action proactively. In our example, we're in August 2016 and our fiscal year started July 1st. The goal here is to present some of the functionalities and possibilities our expertise combined with Power BI from Microsoft can provide. So let's begin. We will start by reviewing a sales analysis dashboard. The first numbers noticed are the key performance indicators this particular client wants to monitor constantly. On the left hand side, you will find some filters relevant to the client's business. For instance, if I want to look at a specific sales channel, I can simply select it and all of the relevant information in the dashboard is filtered to present the data for this particular channel. I can easily combine different channels by simply clicking or remove any filters and revert to my global numbers. The same logic applies to timelines if I want to view the data for a year to year comparison. Every measure presented is completely dynamic. The midsection shows different dimensions of sales, such as sales by country, sales by category, sales by square foot for thousands of populations for each store. You can also see sales by manufacturer, channels, and finally how sales evolve over time. All dimensions that were deemed important to our client and completely customizable. On the right hand top corner, all of the information can be filtered by country. For instance, China or Germany. Moving along to the second tab, our client was looking to analyze the defects for all products sold as it impacts their profitability. We quickly see that we have a major issue with a manufacturer that represents the clear majority of defects. When you click on the manufacturer with the highest returns, you see that although telecommunications is the largest selling category, it represents few defects from a percentage perspective. However, the audio equipment category with fewer units sold has a very high percentage of return. This clearly demands action from the category manager, be it resolving this issue with the manufacturer or possibly consider a new manufacturer for this category. Our client also wanted to be able to view the information in a tabular format since some users felt more comfortable looking at the actual numbers instead of graphical representations. Hence we created a tabular view as you see. Notice that all the filtering functions are still active for the data. So you have access to the same drilling capabilities as in the dashboard. Finally, we also created some more visualizations to demonstrate the flexibility and added possibilities we provided this client. They can now analyze their data in a geolocalized fashion or even combined with proportional bubbles to each country's revenue to quickly see where the important areas are in a geographical format. Time series and scatter plots are more options for viewing data. There you have it. A quick overview of the possibilities we can bring to data visualization within your company. If you have similar needs or if you would like to discuss your specific needs, we invite you to visit our website or contact us at your convenience. And we thank you for your attention.